you know that I always say you know that scene in uh in Naruto where they're taking the test and they have to cheat on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But they can't get caught cheating uh -huh. and they have yeah, that's what Shulk is like. But well, like everyone knows they're cheating, you just don't know how they're cheating right now. <laughs> yeah, they're like the examiners are watching and they're like, they're, he's cheating. But how is he doing Exactly. Like, like he's getting all the answers, right? And like you said earlier, Zero Suit versus Shulk. Shulk. Have we been lied to? Yeah, he hovered he? the Shulk, saw the ZSS, and said, you know what? Joker. Yo, he hit him with the Zachary, just waiting for someone, waiting for his opponent to pick someone. No, the, see, coming. The, the difference is American players will sit here and we'll like reset our controller, fix our music or something. The Japanese players will just sit there and wait. Yeah, I remember one time it was the other thing. I think they're doing a. Uh, they're doing a mind check. Yeah. One of the uh, the best things is that uh, I forgot it was. It was the Buzz reviewing his notes, and he was like really nervous. And the yeah. Japanese player was just spinning in a circle in his chair. <laughs> like that's kind of that sounds like the work. Um, game. I think Cyro was telling me when he played Shutan, he did that. Yeah. Yeah, they're really like when the Japanese go into their games, they already know what they're. Going they're serious, to. man. Yeah. They're about they're about their business, and there's not honestly like there's no rule against counter picking game one like. That's true. At the end of the day, you can counter pick all you want, unless you blind. But it's the skill that you comes. can. You can call for a blind pick if you're really worried about it, but like, still low key though. Yeah. If, if you're gonna, if you're gonna do it, at least like, stand by it. You know, acknowledge that you're doing it. Don't like try to hide it. Like, we know. Own it. Own it. He's hovering ZSS. You wait five minutes. <laughs> you look at him in the eyes and says, "I am counter picking to Joker." <laughs> Well, the thing is, then, like, the ZSS has every opportunity to also counter pick, and that's yeah. when you need a blind pick. The stage strike as well. Alright, so if I'm Joker versus Yoshi, I don't want Battlefield, probably. Yeah, no. I definitely wouldn't want Battlefield. I would maybe, like, think of, like, Town or Smashville. And we Smashville. are going to be on Smashville for this Smashville's game, number one. But definitely gonna and it is going to be the show. Okay, He's just good. warming up the... Uh, Warming up the Joker, button checking. Every SoCal player is warming up the Joker at this point. Apparently. Mm -hmm. But hopping right into game number one, high and low versus Gummy Monado. I mean, what do you think of the ZSS and Shulk? Okay, so I think ZSS is a really good character and like people don't want to talk about it. But like this character has the ability to like out camp any character in the game. He's incredibly fast, has good kill options. Flip kick is just something else. But, you know, we want to talk about how ZSS can do all this, but, like, Shulk can just kind of hit her twice sometimes. Shulk cheats. We talked about this. Yeah. Yep. And also, Samus does have her ridiculously great up smash, and as well as her jabs, but Shulk fighting as well out. Here comes the Buster. All right, this is where things get very dangerous. Yeah, Buster, he's going to be taking extra damage as well, but good patience on the ledge that goes for the get-up attack, but that's a lot of damage high and low is taking. And Shield Bonato use a little bit of insurance, but great flip kick to get away. Shulk, oh goodness, where, where are these moves going? I don't know. Gummy Bonato throwing out a lot of these poet smashers right now. I believe the names are backwards on the overlay, but. Yo, are we an elite smash right now? There's a lot of smash attacks being used, and there we go. Speed Bonato used once more, but perfectly spaced out by the side special Gummy Bonato. Oh no, he misspaced it. <laughs> You can grab ledge with that. Yeah, slide. I know. He just barely misses up. But up tilt. That's I smash hate, R up tilt. I hate Smash Mato. I think we need to switch tags, don't we? Yeah. Okay. Oh, goodness. I'm trying to get away from that. And Shulk is ridiculous. Like, if you guys don't think Shulk is ridiculous, you are just playing lag. Like, remember, I saw Kome in the middle of a combo with Charlie. The four, it was the fair into side yeah. special. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, and he shield R in the middle of fair side B. And then, and then killed him because of it. But yeah. It's ridiculous, but Gumbernado is doing a really good job trying to space around it, but high and low. Remember, is a sword character after all can space it out, but remember, CSS can do exactly the same, surprisingly. I am right now, Gummy kind of just playing patiently, throwing out these, you know, spaced aerials. That Smash Art Fair kill so incredibly early, almost killed at Legend 70. Then did go out there and, can, and finish the job with another one. Oh, great grab. Forcing him off stage, trying to get something down, but trying to special use the whip. Not to play, but Shield Monado use. It's just going to be Monado trying to get a little bit of damage down as safe as possible without getting hit. But as soon as it ticks down, this is the time where High and Low needs to shine. He still has Buster Art available, though. Let's we'll see when it comes out. 
now, I like the play that he's doing. Like, he understands that he's an advantage, so right now he's just trying to space Gummy Monado out. But anytime Gummy tries to go in, he kind of stops. Oh, him. no! Another two two. another misspaced ID2, the legend. Going to drop both of his stocks like that so far. Yeah, not looking too good. Oh. Okay. A lot, of, <laughs> a lot of SDs this set. This is a good result. Yeah, this, uh... That was a spaghetti game. <sighs> so Cal sucks? No, no. Get out of here. <laughs> Anyways. Did High Low just change controllers? He said, I didn't like that one. <laughs> he really just pulled out a different controller and said, that was... <laughs> I lost because I didn't have the right controller. That's the issue. Yeah, let me, let me, sw let me switch out my controller real quick. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Like... <laughs> Gummy Monado's doing a really good job spacing it out. But then high and low, like, was able to find his way in. But at the same time, like, I don't know. The game seemed very neutral-based. It was just waiting for one person to make a mistake. But even then, they just missed their, like, punches. Yeah. I mean, half the time, they, they didn't kill the other person. They just killed themselves. Yeah. Like, maybe, maybe Gummy Monado has the backslash because he knows he needs to work on it. Maybe, Maybe but this isn't the time to be working on it. Yeah, no, it's time to win, but popping on to game number two. Remember, Gummy Monado is one game ahead. We got that melee music playing. I love the song. Yeah. It's the best. But high and low, trying to get something down. What, I, what I'm kind of disappointed to see right now is that I've not seen the ZS strings that I usually see. Yeah. Especially when I'm watching Mars. It seems that Gummy Monado and also Gummy Monado not getting the usual, like, the down throw into the f tilt that you should get in muscle art. It's just kind of spacing it out, but or it could be the high low's doing a really good job playing around it, but the up smash is missing. It's surely not a you good You know start. what we're really missing here is your or Zare. We're right. not seeing any sort of Zare approaches from high and low, and I feel like that's one of her best tools in this game. Uh, you know, in Smash 4, it was always the jump in Zare, or Nair on shield because it was safe. But like now, this game, like you kind of have to play a little more patiently, try and poke with the Zare, and then find a follow-up for that. Yeah, no, there are, there are times where she, uh, where high and low does get the Zare, but it's so rare that it's kind of ridiculous. And oh my god, speaking of ridiculous. cancel F tilt with Smash R. Show cheats. But Hopping try to help into this one, high and low. I mean, he keeps just throwing out these moves while Gabi Minato just kind of plays back, waits for a punish, waits for a punish attempt. And it finds its way like exactly like this. This is exactly what the sword matchup should be doing, but it's also crazy to not see. I'm so used to seeing Nico watch it going crazy with his Monado arcs. Yeah. Goodness. I feel like we've seen a lot of accidental art switches where Gummy goes the wrong way. I very curious, you know, like how much he's practiced that because it really should be some one of the first things you have down as short. I mean, he is getting them down occasionally, uh, but it's just the buster. Trying to get some damage on Mike, but it's 20%, but the flip tip gets him out, but high and low, surprisingly stuck in a corner for like a long time during this match. Yeah, I think he's kind of worried about trying flip kick over Gummy Monado and then getting caught by like a smash art up tilt again. Like these scenarios, like he should be trying to pin his advantage, but using the speed now, trying to get like a grab of some sort, but instead he can eat a bunch of aerials to the face. Trying to play his way. Like, like do you see those back airs like at nothing? Yeah. Like, that's the thing. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, and he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. The power shelf, dude. This is the Minato's power. Oh, goodness. And also, like, I mean, I can go on and on about this, but we probably have to end this matchup. Because Iron Low doing a really good job getting this percentage down, but still alive and trying to do his best to take the stock because going Minato is currently just running right over High and Low. Like, any time high and low tries to go in, fair, fair. Can't even find his way in. And oh, he oh. actually goes under the sword and just kicks straight through it, kills him for it. That was a really good option from high and low. I thought we were finally going to see Gummy Minato side to the ledge. That looked like that was the time it was going to work. So, Gummy Minato has yet to reach the stage with this side special. Yeah. But trying to find his way in, nice job. I'm not trying to set something up, but Miss Tech, thankfully the F just goes right above his leg down body, but he 
uses neutral special once more. I mean, if there's one thing that I really fear about CSS, is that even if she's cornered, the threat of her down special grounding you on stage yeah. is so massive. Yeah, you know, she grounds you at 80, 90, and you just die to up. Special, yeah. Maybe not if you're Shulk because you can switch to shield art, but, you know, most characters, that's something you have to worry about. It's still a threat and trying to get something down, down tilt, smash arts available. He's got to play around this one up tilt or side special. But remember, high and low can easily reverse this situation. Oh, oh my god, he almost died to that. Oh my god, I would have been angry if he's dead. But a down air from the shelf, of course, he's out. Why are you, what these down is he's still going for them, but he does get the forward throw and up tilt, and that'll do it 2 0 for Gummy Monado. Down special may be good. But this joint's beat it out at Paraplay Space, so like that. Yeah. Great job by Gummy Monado. How was it like? What is this? Best out of five? Look at all. It's very, it's very strange seeing like different Shulks play. Like I watch Kome, Uncivil Ninja, and Nico. Yeah. And it's, it's they're like they're like considered the Triforce of every single Shulk play. Yeah. And like Gummy Monado did like a pretty good job spacing it out first of all, um, and also when you got Buster Art rolling. Oh, he got it rolling. Yeah. But there were so many times where it was just the missed spacing, the missed opportunities that really costed some of them, both of them opportunities. Yeah, that definitely was, you know, he, it felt like he would get his hits, but like he wouldn't do too much off of them. Like neither of them really were, where he would get like an opening and then they'd reset. They didn't know how to follow up after that, how to like put pressure on them, even if they didn't have true combos left right. anymore. Like we're so used to seeing Shulk Speed Monado, there, 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 and they're able to string them together yeah. and like to toss you over the stage with it. But we saw like one, two hits, back off in the neutral. Exactly. And back off, and then he would throw out like a lot of moves just to throw them out. Where like those down airs in the end, mm -hmm. or like, yeah, on stage, like where is that yeah. going? And as, I 